And as Elena mentioned, the recent weather causing issues for the Muskegon River. The river crested this morning, which led to additional flooding in Nuego County. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu spoke with county officials for more on the floods. The Nuego County Emergency Services Center parking lot was full on Saturday as employees spent their weekend trying to bring relief to residents. Blockades lined the roads as water continued to pass through and proved too difficult for drivers. And while county officials say water waves will eventually settle down, they say more flooding could still come. Rivers do not like roller coaster temperatures. Nuego County is under an aerial flood warning after the Muskegon River crested in Croton and Nuego Saturday morning. At Croton, we got just about over a foot above our flood stage. Down in Nuego, we got, I believe, about two feet uh, above our flood stage. And more crests are to come. We're expecting crests in the Bridgeton area later this afternoon into this evening. The flooding has led to destruction of Nuego County homes and businesses. We had business damage. We had apartment complex that are damaged. We had 28 roads that washed out or culverts that were damaged. We had over 100 roads that were covered in water. 60 homes that had water in it or around it or flooded in the basement. There's water everywhere. There's stuff floating everywhere. It smells like sewer in there. Abby Watkins, director of Nuego County Emergency Services, says this winter took everyone by surprise. Homes that don't normally flood, flooded. Um, and homeowners that don't normally deal with flooding are now dealing with flooding, and they don't have insurance. All I kept thinking is I'll call the insurance in the morning, and they'll have somebody out here to start cleaning it up and doing repairs. And unfortunately, nothing's covered. The county has teamed up with Kent County, Muskegon County, Ottawa County to attain resources, traffic barrels, road signs, more pumps so we can pump water off and has requested help from the Michigan governor. We're working with the state of Michigan to try and bring in some additional resources to help these homeowners recover. When will the flooding stop? I am not sure at this point when things are going to subside because just when we think things are going to subside, we get hit with another round of storms. And it's important to remember that during a flood, you should always be cautious when you're driving. Watkins says that you should never drive through the water because you don't know how deep that body is or how it will affect you. In addition, if you see any flooding in Nuego County or surrounding areas, emergency management is encouraging you to report it to the American Red Cross Dispatch at 616-899-4511.